All new at 6 tonight, patients at Memorial Regional Hospital felt a lot of love today from six therapy dogs who shut up for a training day with their handlers. The dogs have become an integral part of the hospital staff. They're a part of the team along with doctors, nurses, and medical techs. Good morning. Good morning. This is Honey. Meet the newest addition to the staff at Memorial Regional Hospital. Honey Crisp is a two and a half year old golden retriever in training to be a therapy dog. She's still learning not to jump on the furniture, a sign that she's young and enthusiastic. Honey was born for this. We breed for this. We do this for this reason. And it's the most rewarding job that I've ever had. Lou Picard is co-founder of ECAT, Educated Canines Assisting with Disabilities. She's already trained Honeycrisp and the other dogs who showed up today. Her focus now is the handlers, making sure they don't make mistakes, like accept food that's not part of the dog's diet. Can I give her some of my breakfast? No, I have some bacon. Bacon is a no-no, but treats provided by the trainer are okay. Honeycrisp comes from a long line of service dogs. In fact, she's in training to replace nine-year-old Gail, who comes from the same lineage of golden retrievers and is retiring soon. We find with the golden retrievers and the Labradors um, that there are more people, people dogs, and they want to please people. So that's their drive. That's, that's their motivation is they want to please you. So far, Honeycrisp and crew are acing their job of providing love and comfort. We've had patients who are maybe a little depressed and don't want to participate in therapy or, you know, they've been in the hospital for a while, maybe they miss their dog. So we'll consult our therapy dogs and they go up and they start interacting with the patients and it just changes their whole outlook. Honeycrisp's arrival was made possible by a generous donation to the Memorial Foundation.